hand sized specimen of uh, a matrix of a dolomite, almost a flaky dolomite. Sitting on top of that would be a smithsonite, little rosettes of smithsonite. And uh, also associated on some sections of this particular material, I found some cerusite. I don't see any here, so please look at my description. If if I should say cerusite, it would usually be lying under the uh, uh, smithsonites. Um, relative weight, quite quite heavy in relation to the, the size of the specimen, and that is caused, of course, by the smithsonite, and maybe even the cerusite underlayer. Now, from a display point of view, uh, this would be the flat version. And then, of course, from the top down, we'd go across like this. Have a look at various aspects. Nice quality specimen. And size-wise, we're looking at a definite hand size, so pretty good size. Color, not much color here, but uh, uh, one of the little sume rarities and definitely pocket-specific. I, I looked on Mundat the other day, and I actually found material... Uh, from this particular pocket, actually exactly the same material. So as you as you went through the Tsumweb mine at various depths, you found various materials, various different materials, and some of them are very, uh, uh, say, say provenance typical. Um, I actually met a guy in in uh, just just north of uh, uh, Okahanja, I think it was. No, no, it was north of of Karibib. Um, an American guy who told me uh, that this stone came from, he went 100 meters this way and 200 meters this way, of course all underground. Uh, uh, quite interesting. All the way from the Tsumeb mine in Namibia, no longer being mined.